Hey guys, this is Mike and thanks for joining me today. Today I wanted to go over the difference between using the merge and the union options. So basically, let's start with merge. Now merge is like creating a compound path, which means that when two or more paths intersect or overlap, that is going to create a hole or a cutout where the paths overlap. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if I take this circle and I move it and we place it intersecting the rectangle, you kind of see here that these overlap at this area right here. So by definition, if I was to go ahead and select those and go to object and merge, and I did want to call out while I was on this screen that sometimes I do a right click and sometimes I go to the top and use the menu items. But if you look where merge is, you'll see I am on a Mac right now that the shortcut key is shift command B. And if you were on a PC, it would be control shift B. So as you're going through shortcuts a lot, you can make reference of the shortcut keys and it will actually save you time in the long run. So for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. And you're going to see that where the two paths overlapped, they were, it is a cutout now. So that is represented by the white here. So, and you can get a lot of neat different designs by doing this. Now, normally what I see is basically the center is being cut out. So I'm going to show you this and let's move this one to the front so that you can see this. So basically a lot of times when I see a compound path or merge being used, you're cutting out the center of an item. So now I have both of these selected. I'm going to go to object and I'm going to go to merge. And you can see now that the cutout happened in the middle of that rectangle. And now it is one item. Now let me show you again using my name and a rectangle just so that you can see this example again using a different type of shape. So anywhere that these two are overlapping is going to cut out or make a compound path. So I selected both of those. I went to object and I went to merge and anything that overlapped was cut out and anything that was not overlapped was still remained. It just all changed the same color. So now let's move on to union. So union is going to do what some people know as weld. It's going to allow you to join shapes to create a single image by removing the overlapping lines. So whereas the last one in merge removed or, or subtracted those overlapping shapes, this is actually going to combine them to create a new shape. So for example, if I move this here, when I use the merge, it actually cut out this area and you saw it white. So if I go ahead and select all of these and I use union, so path union, you're going to see that all it did was combined those two shapes into one shape. So if I was to change the color on this, it would change the color on the entire shape. This is a new shape. It was married or AKA path union and now it is one shape. The same thing with using my name. Let's put my name down here. So in the last example on merge, it would have subtracted these two, but using path and union, it's going to weld these two together. So it will just add to the shape. So I have both of them selected. I'm going to go to path this time, and I'm going to go to union and you will see that my name was welded, AKA, path union and it is one complete shape so it added it so whereas the merge subtracted overlapping paths the union just made them one complete path or one complete shape so I hope that's helpful to you guys hopefully that you learned a little bit more today and I can't wait to bring you more tutorials soon until next time bye bye